Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you four quick ways you can scale question-based keyword research. And question-based keywords can be an absolute goldmine for a couple of reasons. The first one is they often have a much higher degree of intent. And if you think about it, when people are searching for specific types of questions in the SERP, they're often looking for a very specific solution to a problem that they have and often in a short period of time. So it's a great opportunity to then insert your product or that of an affiliate product into the conversation and showcase that as a solution to that problem. And the second reason is oftentimes question-based keywords have a much lower degree of keyword competition and you often don't need to create long form content or build any links at all in order to rank on the first page for these terms. So we'll jump into the tactics, but if you find this video tutorial helpful, click the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up in order to get more of these bite-sized SEO tutorials. Let's jump in. Okay, the first tactic we're gonna use is question-based keyword reports. And most of the top SEO platforms such as SEMrush and Ahrefs are gonna allow you to enter in a seed topic and view a question-based keyword report for that term. So here you can see is an example inside of SEMrush. I've come into their keyword magic tool and entered the seed topic CRM. Now, all I need to do here is click over to the questions tab. And I'm gonna see a nice list of potential question-based topics that I could write an article or support page showing how my product or affiliate offer addresses this problem or answers a specific question. Now, if I scroll down here, you know, we see a lot of the usual things you might see, like why is a CRM important? What does a CRM mean? All those types of things. But if we scroll further down, we can see things like why use a CRM? So this is where we could maybe build a piece of content around the business case for it, as well as how does a CRM work, clarifying that. Then we get even a little bit more specific, can a CRM be integrated with an ERP? So this would be an example to showcase how it can be and then show how your specific CRM, if you in fact had one, integrates with ERP solutions. And then if we scroll further down, how do you choose a CRM system? So you can basically call out the different features that you might look for and ultimately that would probably align with your product as well and then how to maintain a CRM database. If we scroll across here too, you can see the keyword difficulty metrics that SEMrush is providing, telling you whether it's easy, possible, or difficult. And you can come up here to see the specific breakdown of those here. It'll give you a little description of the percentage thresholds there. So that's one way you can do it. And you can see here's another example. Let's just say we're selling beard oil products. I can drop it in to the keyword magic tool again, come over to the questions tab. And now I can see specific questions around that. And if we look at the keyword difficulty percentage, some of these are super low competition, like does beard oil cause acne? Here we could maybe say something about how beard oil can, but here are our specific products that make sure uh, you won't get acne from using the products. Or if you're an affiliate, you could just build a listicle around the different types of beard oil that won't cause acne. So these can be some really great low competition keyword opportunities right out of the gate. Now, if you're using SEMrush or Ahrefs or some of those tools, you can come in and just simply start checking and cherry picking the keywords that you like and start building a question-based keyword list directly inside the application. Now, the second tactic that we're gonna use is mining the people also ask box. And if you enter a keyword into Google these days, more often than not, you're gonna scroll down and see this people also ask box. And these are questions that people are entering into Google straight from the horse's mouth and they can be great topics to write content around, especially if you're looking for cluster content around some pillar pages, or even just standalone question-based topics to write about on your blog, or maybe a support page or something like that. Now down here, you'll notice if I click, it expands the piece, but also ask box, which is great. It gives me more results. But if I'm searching multiple different seed topics, I don't want to be doing that and then copying and pasting keywords and researching them one by one. That would take forever, right? So there's a cool little tool, our Chrome extension here, it's free, it's called SEO Minion. And what this allows you to do once you have installed it is you can come up to the top of the SERP and you'll see this box here on the right. And what it'll allow you to do is select download and then you can come down and essentially export the top 100 or 200 results from the people also ask box. Now, quick shout out to Steve Toth over at the SEO Notebook. Uh, I first found out about this extension from his uh, SEO Notebook email list. If you haven't checked it out, highly recommend. He, he gives some great actionable content on that. So once you've got that and, you know, say we start with 100 clicks, click download, you're going to see a file that'll look something like this. You're going to have the people also asked title, text, URL. But what you want to do is go to column A and grab all of these keywords 
copy those, and then you want to come into the SEMrush keyword overview report, and you can enter in up to a hundred different keywords at a time, click analyze, and then SEMrush is going to kick back the volume as well as the keyword difficulty percentage and a few other metrics. And you can start to use this as a way to quickly gather search volume metrics and difficulty for all of those keywords that you just mined or questions that you just mined from the people also ask box. Now, for every 100 results, you might only get one or two decent topics that are interesting, but if you use several seed keywords, you can come out with a nice handful of low competition question-based topics to write about. Really quick, easy way to scale this process. All right, so the third one here is using subreddits. Now, if we come over here, subreddit, there's a million and one subreddits for pretty much any topic, right? All you need to do is just search a topic related to your product or service or affiliate offer or even your competitors or even pain points for your persona. The, the list goes on and on, use your discretion here, but let's just say, for example, coming back to our CRM topic, if I just enter in CRM, there's a subreddit here with 5,600 subscribers to it, right? So we generally wanna see at least 1,000 uh, subscribers to a subreddit. That means it's probably gonna have a decent amount of engagement. So then all you do is just drop that specific subreddit into the organic research report here in SEMrush, make sure subfolder is selected and then scroll down and you can layer on a bunch of advanced filters in here. Right now I've just got volume 20 plus and then I've got an advanced filter to look at word count greater than two, but you can add additional filters in here to only look for keywords with certain modifiers in this list as well. But if I just leave it at this, just for this real quick example, I can scroll down and I can start to see some potential topics. Again, I'm looking for green or light yellow ones here because they're gonna be lower competition. But immediately I can see lots of comparative topics. Like for example, I can see things like HubSpot CRM versus Salesforce, best personal CRM. But this one here is interesting, HIPAA compliant CRM, 320 searches and it's considered an easy keyword. So that could be a good one to write you know, a listicle or what to look for in a HIPAA compliant CRM, something like that. And then you scroll down to, you'll start to see some of the usual like comparative topics, best CRM for, so more solution-based keywords, like for gyms, for example. So there can be some good topics in here, best CRM for contractors, and then even brokers, is HubSpot HIPAA compliant? I'm not sure if it is, but if it wasn't and you're a competitor, you could say, no, they're not HIPAA compliant, but and you are. Uh, you, you could talk about how you are HIPAA compliant. That could be a good differentiator. All right, and similarly here, we can see is just another quick example for Beard Talk. There's a subreddit on this topic, got all these beard enthusiasts. So I could just jump in here and I could see, you know, I'm only interested now in looking at keywords that are considered easy, or I could even go up to easy. So very easy and easy uh, keyword competition level. And then I could just filter the list that way. And then at the same time too, I could add on an advanced filter for say a keyword modifier like how. And then once that's applied, all I need to do now is kind of scroll down the list and I can see lots of relatively low competition keywords in here as well. How do you comb your beard, tame a beard? How do you brush a beard? How do you use mustache wax? How do you apply mustache wax down here? Like these different topics that you could showcase your product in as well as give information and, and answer uh, specific questions for your audience. So that's another way that you can find those really good question-based topics. And then similarly, you can use other modifiers like best here, just apply that. And now you're gonna see much higher intent question-based topics. So like, what is the best beard butter? What is the best beard moisturizer? What is the best beard trimmer for long beards? Very specific, really good volume and relatively low competition. So if you had an affiliate site, this could be really good. Or even if you had your own products, you could still write listicles and, and showcase your products in those lists as well. Now, finally, the next one is Quora. This is definitely a, another forum that sometimes ranks really well for question-based keywords in its own right. So even if you just answer questions specifically on this forum, you can get good referral traffic that way. But the way that we're gonna use it is to try and mine question-based topics. So all you need to do is grab the Quora domain, come over to the organic research report again, drop it in, set your keyword difficulty threshold, and then just start layering on some keyword modifiers like in the example of beard oil, if I'm looking for topics, question-based topics to mine from Quora, I might say beard oil and how, or beard oil and best. And then you start seeing questions pop up that again, looking over here, all relatively green. How often do you use beard oil? How often should you apply it? Lots of people asking those questions. How long does it take for beard oil to work? So, you know, some other interesting questions that I didn't see popping up before here. So those are four really quick ways you can go through 
and find a load of question-based keyword topics really quickly, build a master list, if you're using a tool like SEMrush where you know, you're going through and using the keyword magic tool based on seed topics, then grabbing all the people also ask and dropping them in here and then mining subreddits as well as Quora, you can just go and grab the keywords and build out your keyword list directly inside the keyword manager in the application and then export all those topics and start building out content around those. Hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, click the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next tutorial.